The Values Based Leadership Initiative is going to appeal to two types of people. First and foremost, it's going to appeal to values-based leaders who do have a sense of ethics and morality, who do have a, a, a mindset that's all about putting principles before profit, who know that they operate the business in a more long-term view way, who know that they have something to share in terms of the right way to lead a financial services organisation. We want leaders that identify with values and that kind of approach to step forward and to share their thoughts about why they lead the way that they do, why it makes complete sense to lead an organization in a values-based way, not just from the perspective of altruism and culture, but also why it makes complete business sense as well, why there are values in values, so to speak. So they're a very, very important part of this initiative. They're essentially who we want to step forward to become part of it. But through recording their thoughts by way of video interviews, we're also going to make sure that other leaders in the financial services sector have the opportunity of understanding what these values-based leaders think like, what makes them tick, what makes them lead the way that they do. And what we're hoping and frankly expecting is that the progressive, purposeful, positive way that values-based leaders lead will positively influence those who might wish to follow them. The value of an organisation is a function of many, many things, including, of course, market perception. Organisations that have suffered as a consequence of poor conduct, who've experienced malpractice, uh, malfeasance, misconduct, mis-selling and so on, are very, very often hit by the market downgrading their value. There have been numerous examples of this, of course, over many, many years. And apart from the market consequences of having a bad reputation, there are also the fines that can be imposed by the regulators. So it's absolutely a rock solid point that organizations that are prone to malpractice and misconduct, who don't display good values, good ethics, good professionalism, are going to be worth a lot less than those that do. Yes, I believe that values uh, themselves are always ever present. The question is, which values do we see inside a culture? The culture of organization is basically a collective psychology, for a better word, for that organization itself, very much often driven by the leadership itself. So the values that the leaders basically put into their organization is very much always emulated within the culture. So driving an organization towards a more virtuous approach vis-a-vis -vis their stakeholders, the values that lie behind those have to become visible, tangible, part of strategy and the tactical approach that the organization takes towards all their stakeholders. So whether an organization chooses to be led by values-based leaders because they want to maintain the value of the organizations that they own and operate, or whether the organization chooses to be led by values-based leaders because they want to aspire to become something special, doesn't really matter. What matters is one way or another. If an organization is led in an ethical, transparent, values-based way, it's more likely to thrive and survive into the future.